Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn in detail about frequency and time period. In our previous video, we have learned that frequency is number of vibration in one second and time period is time taken to complete one vibration. In this video, we are going to learn in detail about it. Symbol of frequency is small f and its SI unit is hertz. Symbol of time period is capital T and its SI unit is second. For example, if an object has frequency 20 hertz, what it means? It means that that object has vibrated 20 times in one second. As you know, when I release this yo-yo, it vibrates. So, with the help of this yo-yo, we will see how to count one vibration. This is, this is called mean position when yo-yo is at rest. And when I take it to other side, this is called extreme position. So, one vibration means start from the mean position, go to one extreme position, come back to mean position, go to another extreme position and then again come back to mean position. This is called one vibration. I will repeat, start from mean position, go to one extreme, come back to mean, go to another extreme, then again come back to mean. So, this is called one vibration. Now, just count how many vibration this yo-yo will take. So, I will take it here and release it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a question which relates frequency and time period. Question is, time for 20 oscillations is 25 seconds. What will be frequency? So, as you know, frequency is number of vibration in 1 second or number of oscillations in 1 second. So, we will see that in 1 second, there will be how much oscillation. So, we will use unitary method. 25 second oscillation is 20 times. So, for 1 second it will be 20 by 25. So, it will be 0 0.8 and as you know what is the unit of frequency that is hertz. So, frequency is 0.8 hertz. This is another question. If a drum skin vibrates with a frequency of 100 hertz, how many times does it move up and down each second? So, in this question, we have to find out that how many times it will vibrate. If you look at the question, frequency is given 100 hertz and as we know, frequency is number of vibration in one second. So, this drum skin will vibrate 100 times in one second. So, our answer will be 100. Through this activity, we will understand about frequency and amplitude. Take a scale pull it down and release it. This movement of scale is known as vibration and number of vibrations in one second is known as frequency. Wow! This is called amplitude. Amplitude is maximum displacement from mean position.
after looking this diagram you might be thinking what is it this is sound wave when you connect a microphone through an oscilloscope this type of structures appear on screen they are known as sound wave when we talk about in terms of vibration it is one vibration and this is two vibration now i will draw sound wave for loud sound and soft sound so first we'll see loud sound for loud sound the amplitude will be higher and for soft sound the amplitude will be lower in terms of pitch for high pitch number of vibration will be more and for low pitch number of vibration will be less this is another question related to frequency and time period question is if a bird flaps its wings up and down 50 times in 20 seconds what is the frequency of its flapping so again in this question they are asking frequency and we know that frequency is number of vibration in one second in question it is given 50 times in 20 seconds so again we will use unitary method 20 second vibration is 50 so for one second it will be 50 by 20 that is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 hertz after watching this video you should be able to answer these questions first what is a frequency what is its symbol and si unit second what is a time period third if an object vibrates 350 times in 30 seconds what will be its frequency fourth draw a diagram to show three vibrations fifth draw different diagrams to show silence soft sound and a loud sound